then we are going to do the back of this page and um, first thing we are going to take is um, a piece of just simple colored design paper or even solid paper whatever kind you like so that's the first thing I did and then I made pockets out of out of um, just the things that I would normally throw away or use for window uh, pockets so don't throw anything away and now I did make these clear pockets so you can put your photos in here I think that's really lovely and it's a little pocket leather idea so I made the ATC size the what's that three by four inch so now you can put your ATC cards in here Yay! or photos or of any kind but I don't glue this down yet on the page because we are going to put this first in the album and then cover it all up but this is how it looks like and I really like it so let's make one together and then for the white of course so like I said measure first your design paper or your piece and make a little white or black edge so put this away for just a minute we don't need this now um, I cut out four ATC size and they are, let's see, yeah, three by four, I guess. Yep, three by four inches. That's an ATC card. And in measurements, they are seven and a half by ten. That's in centimeters. Okay, what we are going to do? Well, I grab my cutting plate so I will see better. I grab a ATC card and I will put some tape on the bottom. First on the bottom. Then I grab some leftover and I will put it on here. Now I think it's really hard to see but it shimmers a little so I put this on and then I just fold just about one centimeter or a half inch. I just fold it over my ATC card and I burnish the tape really well to the paper. Then I am going to cut a corner and this piece we don't need. We don't need any bulk. Okay, same thing here. Cut this in an angle and then this short. Okay, now I can put some tape on this piece. Oh, that's really handy. Let's do this one more time. Yep. Okay, now I can fold this piece as tight as I can then burnish the tape really good to this and then go to the other side so you just wrap your clear sheet same as you would normally do with paper just wrap it around and that's it then the leftover I just cut off so we don't need any measurements here we go. So now I have my first pocket. Now you can cut uh, a little angle out of this with a scissor, but I made this little handy thing <laughs> on my little um, cutting mat. So I can eyeball it and then cut with my knife this shape I measured with my ruler and then I have the perfect shape really cool so yeah that's that's how it goes shall we do one more okay so you make an ATC card three by four inches 
really, this wool is not very nice to me at all. Why is that? Oh yeah, and now it's broken. <laughs> I'm going to fix that in a minute. Anyway, let's grab some piece. Now this is a leftover from an earlier project, so I'm going to cut it open. So I have two pieces. Put this on here. Wrap it around. Burnish it with your bone folder. Cut this in an angle because we don't want any bulk. Angle, cut the rest up. Okay. Um, yeah, now I need that other tape. So fix my tape runner in just a second. back in business. Now wrap the other side as tight as possible. Burnish it with your bone folder. Other, other side. It's really easy. And then we have a nice clear pocket. Then I just eyeball this in the middle, grab my scissor, and I am going to cut my little angle. There we go. So now I have two, and I need just one more. Let's do just one more on camera. Why not? Just Stick with me. Last one. Just wrap it around. It's really get itchy to pick it up. <laughs> okay. That's the bottom. Cut in an angle and cut the rest off. Cut in an angle and cut the rest off. Yeah, the song is almost ready. <laughs> okay, just a little bit more tape. Tape. Peel it off. And wrap it around. Go on to the other side. Wrap it around. And cut the rest off. Okay. Now my angle. Just using this homemade template. <laughs> okay, that was nice. Now I used for the, the mint one, I used some uh, washi tape just to give the pocket a little more extra. So that's what I'm going to do on this one, but then in pink. want all pieces same size so just 
just whip it around. Last one. Then it's just a matter of taping and put it on the paper. So that is very easy making clear pockets. What do you think? I really like it. And it is also a possibility if you don't have a fuse tool to make your own pocket letters or uh, you don't have a sewing machine because you can make pocket letters with a sewing machine also um, if you don't want all that you even can make these pockets and put them on paper and make the right size that's also a possibility then, but then you have one clear uh, pocket but and a pocket ladder has a C2 on both sides but really it's just an option I am really thinking with you guys options 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 there is always another option okay now I'm talking to you <laughs> I'm done with my tape um, where is my wow oh, here it is um, what I am, yes, I was using this color for the back. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So now you can figure out how you want your pockets. Just putting them first on and see how they fit on your page so I think this is pretty cool so I am going to peel one off and just in case I'm putting some little glue extra just because it can okay now this one yeah I think this size is perfect so then we just start with the first one and put it on no measuring just go with the flow and try to eyeball it if you want but if you don't trust your eyes then you can measure your lines where your four pockets are going to be in the right position so either way you can do it okay so well then that's this is when the first one is on, then the rest will be easy, easy going. And I'm just doing it all together with you, all together. tape was not going to sit down on my washi tape hmm. okay sometimes I really want uh, to make a project that is not 
too long with uh, a tutorial series. But every time when I think that and I start, then I think, yeah, but if I want it too short, then I really get the questions. We want to see it all. We want to see you doing this. We want to see you on this, that. Just, yeah, <laughs> I just go film everything and then I see how long it will get. But it's for me sometimes easier to do it off camera, but hey, when it rolls, it will. Let's do it just together. Otherwise, to who will I talk to? To myself? No way. <laughs> I'm talking to you guys. Let's do this together. Okay. Well, and then this is done. Yeah, 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 yeah. How simple is that? This is awesome. I really like that. Never done this before, but I really like it. So, don't glue it just yet on your page. Not just yet. Really like it. Yeah. Then we can put nice tags in and embellish it, it and perhaps make some nice uh, ribbon closure all over over the top. Yeah, really like, 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 like. Okay, so now we have these two. Where's my? Oh, here it is. Here it is. So now we have these two pockets. Pocket pages, clear pocket pages. Yay! So one page is done, you guys. One page is ready, ready to go inside. Okay, okay. Up to next. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Let's go to the next page, and on the next page, I am going to use these two dice. See the round. These two dice. To make this, um, yeah, I call it to make this, and you can put things in and then close it, or you put nice photos on or on the inside. And I really love this activity, so we are going to do this. Um, yeah, I just I think we put first the pages away and first we are going to make this and then we decide what we do on on the album so i am going to pick first my biggest die from this set there we go and then i am going to cut it of course and well, let's see in which color. Well, we need black and we need white. So let me first cut out my uh, sizes for the, the dice. <laughs> so let's cut out this big wound. And um, well, I have a little technique what I do. I just grab a A4 and then I fold it double and then I cut, so I have double paper, and then I cut this die. And the reason why I do that, and I will show you in just a second, why I do this, that is not so I have two uh, cut aparts at once. No, that's for me not the issue. The issue for me is, it's time saving. Uh, well, this is really thick paper, so but it still cuts. Like you see, for me it's time saving. And why is that? In one time I have all the little openings open. And for the first layer it's in here. So you don't have to throw this away. I still can pick all the little dots out. But that's for me way too much time. So that's why I do this. I just fold an A4 double, so I have two layers of paper. And then I am cutting this piece. And I was doing this the same technique with the movie, with the film uh, die, the movie die. That's, that's also, there are lots and lots of little dots in. And I did the same technique with that one and then it was so easy to cut. You don't have to pick anything out. 
it's really simple. So pick the first one out and it's ready, ready to go. That's just a little technique and yeah, you still can use this, but I don't go to pick every single thing out. Hate that. <laughs> but you also have um, you also have some tools that you can rub on some some little brush brush tool or something like that and then you also get all the little things out of dice i know but for me this works perfect and it's really quick ready so that's why i do this see pick the first one out and it's perfect every single time and the second one has the little dots in the openings so that's just a way I do it. So, okay, let's having these. And the next step, what I'm going to do, first put this back in. The next step, what I am going to do, I am going to fold it double. Here we go. And do that with all. And now I am making two, eh? <laughs> so I, you only need two. <laughs> Hope I did not um, give you any idea that you need four. No, you don't. You have need two. But I am making two books, so I have one white, one, um, one black. Oh, I have some clear sheet here going on. Okay, so these I will put them away. So I have these and then we can uh, cut them open and let's see, you can do that with a scissor or let's see if this one is willing to cut it open otherwise I have to, oh it's too thick. Let's go to my fist cross. that one is really better. So, yeah, here we go. <laughs> so you cut it open and then grab a scoring board and then make a half inch score line. And do that to all. So what I fold double, I cut in half. You can do that with a scissor or with your cutting machine. And then we cut it, uh, we score it. <laughs> we score it at a half inch or one centimeter, whatever scoring board you have. Okay, now I will do that the same thing with my black ones. Just stay with me, please. <laughs> okay. Yep, here we go. Only have to score. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, now. Now we can fold it all back. And now we have the, the measurement from um, this for the square. Let me cut the corners off in an angle can do I think all three same time saving time saving time there we go so you are going to measure this piece how wide is that let me just check how wide it is well it's 13 or it's five so we are going to make a square that is five by five or 13 by 13 so making a square 
5 by 5 or 13 by 13. Okay, you guys. And now we are going to put these all the way under here. And you can use any kind of glue you want. To do my video a little quicker, I will use my ATC gun. Just making sure it's nothing in the way. Laying it and fold it. Cut the rest off. Put the next one on on its place. Really, it's not that difficult. No, it isn't. Just cutting what you see off. We don't need that. And then the last one. Oh, you see here just a little angle. Okay. The last one. Here we go. it's ready as you can see now we have our little box yay see how easy that was that was pretty simple now I will go do that to my black one and then I will be back in a minute and I explain you how we can do the decorative paper okay back in one second now for the design paper you are going to search, you can use the same die if you don't have two different dies, but I am going to use the one with the little dots and then you just choose your die which one you prefer, let's see if I want to use the same one. Yeah, then I also have the same size. So I'm going to use this one with the little uh, dots. And um, I'm going to use um, this piece of paper because the angle is really uh, the perfect size yet. So, yeah, I think I am going to fold this double. And then... I am cutting it in half and then the same thing on that, that piece because we are normally using one kit and not two. So I am just being fair with the ones who have just one kit. So I am using this one guys. I am cutting this in two just like you have to do it and then I separate it on each package the mint and the pink one okay so let's cut this baby and now I hear you saying thinking why is he not cutting now double paper well now I have no openings that I have to pick out but I have the dots and if I want using double paper then I have one nice one with the nice dots and the back will be looking like this and well it's not bad but I really like the perfect size that's why I cut out these two separately here we go now we have to run it one time 
the dies are perfect to cut. Look how easy they cut. Okay, so back. And these can also go back. And now we are going to do the same thing. Um, well, it's not very necessary, but we're going to do the same thing. We just fold it in half and cut it. So we have four pieces. Oh, we do need four pieces. So yeah, I do need these other flowers too. <laughs> yeah, we do need two pieces for one for one box. Oh, silly me, silly, silly, silly me. <laughs> so I don't have any flowers left. No, 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 no. Cut them off. Oh, I think that was an extra thing that I do not have to do because we are now cutting it on the right position. So, sorry, sorry guys, sorry, 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 sorry. So, put this on and then search where your end of the paper is and draw a line. And I think if I now cut this at my marks, then I will have the perfect cut. I think. Let's see. And I have. Ta-da! Okay, so then we can smudge this. And then we can put this down. Yay! Really cool. Okay, so um, what we are going to do? Yeah, I think I'm going to use the same ones for this one. Yep. Sure, 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 sure. So let me first do the black one together with you, and then I go to the white. Here is my little thing is off. Oh, yep, yeah, here it is. Well, I have I have some left, but just want to keep that. Keep, keep. Okay, so let me first do two pieces on each one. There you go. But wait to the other two, and the reason is that we want a nice closure. As you can see on my example, we want a nice closure. Just get a message from Annelies from Crealies, and you guys know where she is. Oh my god, she's in America, you guys. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Next time, Annelies, I go with you. <laughs> Don't go without me. No, she's on a holiday, so we need to break, of course. Okay, so now I have put on my two design papers. And now before I go do these two, I want to put some um, ribbon on. So I have my closure. Now let's see. Tape, tape, where you are? Where is my tape, tape, tape? Do you see it, guys? Tape. Oh, here it is. Yep, got it. What we are going to do is put some tape on here and in the middle here too. Peel it off. And then 
you put your ribbon on. This is too much. Just cut it off. Let's see how much do we need for making a bow. Well, I think I think something like this. And now we can do the other two just the same as we did before. Why am I putting this not nice? Making two, two marks and then cut nice. Give them a little smoochy edge. And glue it down. Here we go. Last one, you guys. Last one, and then our little shall we call it? I would like to call it a surprise box. Because you can put uh, nice things in or you can put a nice photo in. You can do anything with it what you want. I just like making these Look at this. Isn't this just amazing? And now you can put something on here. I think I will I will leave these flaps plain and I think I will put a nice design paper for in here, but don't know yet what. But yep, really like it so just make a nice bow. Yay, cool. Yeah, I really like it. Really like just a little more squeegee. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> a little more crinkle. Always like that. Yeah, way better. I'm terrible at making bows, you guys, but I do my best. I do my best. What do you think? Isn't this amazing? Yes. Like it. Okay, so now I really like how this little fancy border is doing. Really cute. Okay, so yeah, up to my white doing it, finishing it, fin finishing it up, and then I'll be back in one second for the next piece. Okay, what's next to do with what we just made? Well, I made it on top a nice big pocket. I just love pockets, so I just glued this one on here, made a nice um, card in it, really cute. And then this can closure, and you can put anything in you want. Your leftover card, your leftover photos, you can put anything in here. Just wrap it around with a bow and that's that now the only thing i 
did not think about was um, I decorated this page well not on the back but I did it on the front but um, I totally forgot that we have a hinge with the open hinge like well just really quick grab the white one like this one now I still can do this really no big deal but I really think that on top it's better so that's my only mistake I made uh, so for my next the good one so you guys can make this already in here so you already don't have that problem so I think that's the best to do and yeah I think this will be on the last page so I will put these in so I don't have that same mistake just a little white um, clear glue so I can oil just a little always like that so put this in on the right position and then just push it so the first hinge is attaching and now I can peel off my second tape and I'm just doing just a little extra glue just in case and that's that okay so that was my first mistake with this hinge but we can manage so now this is in okay so now we can work on this page and then we are going to make the same thing as this one so we are going to make a nice big pocket on top of this and then just decorate it's really simple it's just too simple just grab a piece of paper and make first a hinge or a flippity flop just how you prefer calling it I know some guys of you really love that word so either way you can make a hinge so then just line this up not all the way we still want this page to can flip to the left and the right so stay away just two millimeters is enough and then go all the way here and make another flippity flop lay this straight see where your mark is make a fold line and then I am going to cut it down don't throw it away you always can use those for cards okay just fold it and then we can decide how large I want this pocket well I did with the black one I just eyeball it so these are just about equal and I want this on the top here too so well, I just eyeball it you can measure but I just eyeball everything I hate measurements that goes always wrong with me so I just measured uh, not measured it eyeball it and then for me this is a good size yeah it will be okay so this is the pocket and we can work first on this one before we glue it in that's easier so what I did with the the black one I first grabbed some washi tape and because I did not want to use the washi tape on black because then the color is just a little off I put uh, first some white cardstock on the bottom so the mint color is really popping up now so 
but for this one we don't have to do that because it's already on white so I just wrap my washi tape just with a, just a little kind of little white edge leaving open and then just go all the way around I love um, to let some things coming back in an album and if you pick up one washi tape and you use it more in your project then it's giving a nice easy extra touch but you can use different ones whatever your choice will be it's your album I'm just doing it my way. Okay. That's that. Then is the tape, wash tape. So it really stays nice. Now, okay, now this is done. Let's see. I did for this a little pink on the bottom now I like for this one just a little mint on the bottom so let's see this piece or oopsie or let's see which color can we use this is actually the good color but it's not the right size well it should be I don't need all that much just a little is perfect just a little yeah I think I am going to use this it's a waste of, of paper that I want to use another one so I am going to use this one This can go on top. Why am I using double? Well, it's just a habit. And I really like that the tape is really pushing it already down so I don't have to wait to dry my clear glue that's why okay now before we put it on we can make a nice card in here and there I want to use the same color so let's see what's the nice size I think just a little of the white Okay, just cut it on the right position. Here we go. Now let's use ones and that was I really like this kit that was this and I just bought this morning another um, note another uh, pad let me 
grab this real quick to show you that if you see something like this, this vellum with those words on, I really like it. So I just bought me a new another one. Um, and we need the stickers just real quick. So this is really easy. You just go around these words, making a little cloudy shapes just around the words don't have to be fancy just go all the way around make a little cloud at the words and then go all the way around There you go. That was very simple. Uh, let me see. I'm just going to put the same sticker which I used on the other one. Just to make two exact the same ones except for the colors. I really love this set. It's just an amazing set with this pastel colors just wow 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 let me see and then this simple flower won't come off easily but let's grab one and this color yep there we go just save it Okay, now with this art glitter glue, it's just perfect because this one is drying out clear, so it's just perfect to use. Put this in the middle, and while it's clear with the vellum, you can put it over a sticker. It's really nice, and then on here. I put these two on and what is left you just cut up and that's done. Good in the project. really cute so the box has a nice extra touch okay let's close it up flops on the bottom and on the flop just using some extra glue if you want to wiggle a little extra I know I just like it don't glue it upside down so I'm checking what my words inside and then I am beginning on this edge so this will be perfect and then here we just have something left. Okay, and that's it. Here we go, and now we just need some leftover thing piece. And then we cut it on the good size. Smooch it a little. And just checking, check, 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 check. Yep, this is fitting. Here 
There we go. Putting it in. And then place it on top with its little white edge. And that's done, guys. That's so easy. Easy peasy. Okay. Yep, first page in. That was really awesome. Okay. Yep, love it. Love, 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 love it. Okay, now up to the next. I think the back of this one. We'll see what we'll do there. Hmm, I was thinking before I am going to make any more mistakes, I am going to put this page on already in the middle before I make any mistakes more so what I did with the last page I will do exactly the same thing that's why I did not put my design paper on the back so just stick it in on the right position here we go just flip it over and peel the other side off and put this back on the back so now this page is in already and we can't make any mistakes so and now I really want this page in so we don't change it anymore. Just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Just help me just a little. Yep, there it goes. Nice in the middle. Okay. And then down is your glue all down. And that's that. Okay, now it won't again go anywhere. Yay! We like it. And now for this side we have made this one. But I don't know if I want it on this side because I want a pocket letter on this side. So, it's just an option that I perhaps will do this at the end. So I will just leave it just open for a second before I glue this page down. You also can put it on here, but I just want to decide later. Really don't know yet. Don't do yet. Yet, 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 yet. So, okay, but... Let's grab the black album and do the exact same thing and see how I can finish this one. But we have this page and this page is the upside the other way. So then I have to make this one on here. Where was my glue? Here was my glue. So put it on here. That's the only difference you noticed. Put it on. Flip it over. Peel the side off. And yeah, it, it's really a nice binding system like this and it's just a little different but we like it how this turns on so this is on so let's put the pink on the back Put 
but it's nice in the middle. Yep, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, so same thing. I made this actually for the back, but I just wait for a minute which on which page I want it. So now here's my mistake <laughs> for making this already. But I think I am going to just put this on top here. And that will do it. So I am going to put some tape on top of this one. And that's how I am going to fix my problem. My, not my problem, my, <laughs> my little mistake. Is the same just keep a little away from the bottom you don't want this too close to the bottom otherwise your page won't be nicely flipping to the left and to the right here we go so um, now we can do this on the back so it will be the same uh, with the white, but you still can put another one in. But let's do the same thing as the white one. I think actually it's it's an extra thing for making two nice flat pages on each other. So just a thought, just an extra thought, just an extra idea. Oh my god, we didn't talk in way, 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 way too English, too British. <laughs> Gotta stop. <laughs> okay, so that's fixing my problem. Done. Two pages in. First one, I want a pocket page. So yeah, let's see what's next. <laughs> 